Hi friends, welcome to KVR Maths Academy. In this video, let's discuss exercise 3.1 in polynomials of 10th class mathematics. Right? So before discussing this exercise, friends, please subscribe my YouTube channel, those who are not subscribed yet. Thank you. Yes, let's go through this. Yeah. See, this is the first question in exercise 3.1. A and B questions have given. First one, A is, if P of X is equal to 5X power 7 minus 6X power 5 plus 7X minus 6, find the coefficient of X power 5, degree of P of X and constant term. Here see, P of X is equal to 5X power 7 minus 6X power 5 plus 7X minus 6. Here first, uh, we have to find coefficient of X power 5. Coefficient of x power 5. See, this is the term of x power 5, no? So, what is its coefficient? Yes, exactly. Minus 6. Minus also we should consider, right? We should not write 6 only. Here, minus only, minus also is there, no? So, that's why we should write minus 6. Next, degree of p of x. Degree of p of x. p of x is, this is the polynomial, no? So, what is its degree? Degree means highest power of the term in the polynomial highest power of the term in the polynomial see here four terms are there highest power is how much here this is seven five this is one so highest power is this only now so what is its degree yes degree is seven right next constant term what is its constant term so these these are the terms of variables x right so constant one is this one only. constant is also Minus 6 only we should write. And should clearly? Yes. Next B. Write 3 more polynomials and create 3 questions for each of them. Write 3 more polynomials and create 3 questions uh, for each of them. First write down any examples. Write down. Uh, suppose P of X is equal to 2X power 5 minus 3. 3X square plus 2X plus 1. This is one polynomial. Next, uh, another one. P of y is equal to. P of y is equal to 2y cube minus 8. This is also polynomial. Next, uh, P of z is equal to. P of z is equal to. Yes, 6z power 6 minus 8z power 4 plus 2z, 2z power 2. 2z square. So, these are the polynomials now. Examples of polynomials. What has given? Write three more polynomials. Write any polynomials. So, these are the polynomials now. So, this is the polynomial of uh, variable x. This is the polynomial of variable y. This is the polynomial of variable z. Right. So, for each of them, we should write questions. Questions for each of them he asked. So, what are the questions you can write? See, first one. What is the degree of the polynomial? Right? Degree. What is the degree of the polynomial? Degree. Second one. See, second one. How many terms are there in this polynomial? Number of terms. How many terms are there in the polynomial? That is also we can write. Next, third one. What is the coefficient of x square? Coefficient of coefficient coefficient so commonly i am writing coefficient of y cube or coefficient of z power 4 like that next here degree means first of what is the degree of this polynomial this polynomial this polynomial next how many number of times how many number of times in this polynomial next uh, suppose it has given is it a cubic polynomial why is it a cubic polynomial is it a cubic cubic polynomial why or otherwise is it a quadratic polynomial why like that questions next what is a constant p in the p of y constant 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 in the p of y understood what is the degree of one what is the degree of 1? Like that, we may write so many questions, we may write. So, have you understood about this question? Yeah. 
नेक्स्ट सेकेंड क्वेश्चन स्टेट विच आर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर ट्रू एंड विच आर फॉल्स गिव रीजन फॉर युवर चॉइस स्टेट विच आर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर ट्रू एंड विच आर फॉल्स एंड गिव रीजन फॉर युवर चॉइस लुक य फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट सो द डिग्री ऑफ द पॉलॉमियल रूट टू एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस थ्री एक्स प्लस वन इज रूट टू इज इट ट्रू और फॉल्स वॉट इज द डिग्री एक्चुअली डिग्री इज द हाइएस्ट पावर ऑफ द टर्म हाइएस्ट पावर ऑफ द टर्म हि बट रूट टू हेज गिवेन रूट इज अ कोविशेंट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेर नॉट इट्स पवर डिग्री इज हाइएस्ट पवर ऑफ द टर्म सो इट्स फॉल्स फॉल्स राइट सो डिग्री इज डिग्री इज हाइएस्ट हाइएस्ट पवर ऑफ द द टर्म राइट या रूट इज द कोफिशियंट राइट कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेर ओनली कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेर नॉट रूट इज द डिग्री इट इज द कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेर राइट सो नेक्स्ट द कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेर इन द पॉलॉमियल पी ऑफ एक्स थ्री एक्स क्यूब माइनस फोर एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस फाइव एक्स प्लस सेवन इज टू टू हेज गिवेन इज इट राइट या इट्स फॉल्स इट्स फॉल्स Why? Because coefficient of x square is how much? Is minus four. Coefficient, coefficient of x square is minus four. Isn't it? Yeah. Next, come to the third question. The degree of constant term is zero. Is yes, exactly whatever constant you take, its degree is zero. It's true. It's true. Always. डिग्री डिग्री ऑफ द कॉन्स्टेंट इज जीरो राइट या नेक्स्ट फोर्थ क्वेश्चन वन बाय एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फोर फाइव एक्स प्लस सिक्स इज ए क्वाडिटिक पॉलॉमेल इज इट राइट वाट आई टोल यू पॉलॉमेल्स या सो ऑलवेज द वेरिएबल शुड नॉट बी इन fraction right the variables should not be in fractions so the denominators so that's why it is not a polynomial variables should not be in denominators so it is not a polynomial Not a polynomial here. We have to write false. Right? Yeah. Next, the degree of a polynomial is one more than the number of terms in it. See, the degree of a polynomial is one more than the number of terms in it. Is it right? Yes, it is also false. Why? Yes, the degree means highest power of the term. So it is not related to number of terms, right? Yeah, the degree is highest, highest power of the term, of the term. It's not, it's not related to to number of terms. So, have you understood about this? Yes. Next, uh, third question. If p of t is equal to t cube minus one, find the values of p of one, p of minus one, p of zero, p of two, and p of minus two. P of t has given t cube minus one. Then we have to find the values of p of one, p of minus one, p of zero, p of two, p of minus two. So in the place of t, we have to substitute all these uh, numbers, right? Yeah. So given polynomial solution, given. Polynomial p of t is equal to how much? T cube minus one has given, right? Yeah. Now p of one. So in the place of one, we have to substitute p of in the place of t, we have to substitute one, right? Yeah. That is equal to one cube minus one. One cube is one minus one is that is equal to zero. So p of one is zero. Next. Uh, P of minus one has given 
माइनस वन होल क्यूब माइनस वन माइनस वन होल क्यूब इज माइनस वन इंटू माइनस वन इंटू माइनस वन इस एक्सैक्टली माइनस वन दिस इज माइनस वन माइनस वन माइनस वन माइनस टू राइट या नेक्स्ट पी ऑफ जीरो दट इज जीरो क्यूब माइनस वन जीरो क्यूब इज जीरो जीरो माइनस वन इज माइनस वन इज इट क्लियर या नेक्स्ट पी ऑफ टू P of 2 is equal to 2 cube minus 1. 2 cube is how much? 8 minus 1. 8 minus 1 is 7. Right? Yeah. Next P of minus 2. Minus 2 whole cube minus 1. Minus 2 whole cube is yes exactly minus 8 minus 1. This is minus 9. So P of 1 is 0. P of minus 1 is minus 2. P of 0 is minus 1. P of 2 is 7. And P of minus 2 is Minus eight. Have you understood clearly? Yes. Next fourth question. Check whether minus two and two are the zeros of the polynomial x power four minus sixty. Check whether minus two and two are the zeros of the polynomial x power four minus sixteen. We have to check, right? Yeah. Solution. Given polynomial. Given polynomial. Given polynomial. Suppose let take p of x is equal to x square minus sixteen, right? X power four minus sixteen has given, isn't it? Yeah. Now p of minus two substitute p of minus two take that is minus two whole power four minus sixteen. So minus two whole power four is how much? Yeah. Two power four is sixteen. Here minus power positive even number is there. That's why positive value will come now. Yes. 4 16 minus 16 that is 0. So p of minus 2 we got 0 now. So minus 2 is the zero of the polynomial of x power 4 minus 16. Right. Next let us take 2. P of 2 that is 2 power 4 minus 16. 2 power 4 is 16. 16 minus 16 0. So p of 2 which means 2 is also zero of the polynomial of X power four minus sixteen. Why? Because we, if we substitute two, we substituted two, we got zero only. No, so that's why two and minus two are called zeros of the polynomial x power four minus sixteen. Therefore, minus two and two are the zeros, zeros of the polynomials, polynomials of X power four minus sixteen. Have you understood clearly? Yes, note it down. Next, the fifth question. This is the final question in exercise three point one. Check whether three and minus two are the zeros of the polynomials p of x when p of x is equal to x square minus x minus six. See, it is similar to the fourth question. Check whether three and minus two are the zeros of the polynomial p of x when p of x is equal to x square minus x minus six. Let us do. Yeah, solution. Given given polynomial given polynomial p of x is equal to x square minus x minus six. Yes, three and minus two has given no. So first take p of three. That is equal to three square minus three minus six. Isn't it? So in the place of x we have to substitute three. Why? Because we have taken p of three, no? Three square is nine minus three my minus three minus six minus nine. So that is zero, isn't it? So three is the zero of the polynomial of p of x, right? Yeah. Next uh, p of four minus two also take minus two whole square minus half minus two minus six minus two whole square. Next in the place of x only we have to substitute minus two, right? Yeah, minus two whole square is yes positive four minus into minus plus two minus six. Four plus two is six. Six minus six is zero. So minus two is also the zero of the polynomial of p of x x square minus x minus six. Therefore, x is equal to three and minus two are the zeros of Zeros of the polynomials, the polynomial x square minus x minus six. 
have you understood clearly yes note it down okay friends if you like my video please like and share don't forget to subscribe thank you thank you very much